Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Wola and we got a lot of comments for our last videos and there was one topic what everyone want to see some more information. This is how to trade outside regular trading sessions and today I want to present this with a Trader Workstation for Interactive Broker or also for TradeStation Global clients because there are several settings uh, what you need to know and I think especially now in this uh, very volatile times it's good to know how to exit maybe a position or even um, entry a position outside the normal trading hours. And for that I already opened the Trader Workstation which we see here in the background and the first important fact that you know um, what are the yeah, trading hours in total if you click right click on any of um, the symbols what you have in your portfolio or on your watch list there is normally one point description you can check the whole overview and then you will find um, um, here the description of the um, Yeah, here description, financial instrument info and uh, if you click on this window you will see the following information. We will see here the normal trading hours uh, in US time, it's from 9.30 in the morning to 4 o'clock. Um, but the total time is from 4 in the morning till 8 in the evening. So for this time if we see for example um, pre-market it's 5.5 hours from 4 till 9.30 and um, um, post market is from um, 4 o'clock US time till 8 o'clock so during this time you have several settings uh, how to yeah, place an order or how to get executed after the regular trading sessions. It's also very important to know um, that for these timings you can't place all um, different order types. Um, yeah, you can. Um, yeah, you can just um, memorize that it's only a limit order at the end available because this is also a benefit for yourself if there is a market order and especially um, in outside regular trading sessions you have really a high spread if there's not a good volume there's um, yeah, the bid and ask uh, is a big difference and if you place a market order it can happen especially with maybe a big um, size with big quantity that you get a very bad price and for this um, uh, most of the brokers they don't accept stop orders stop uh, limit orders or market orders out outside regular trading sessions so this is really something what is an advantage for you even i know some people they would have would like to have a stop outside the trading um, sessions but um, especially um, in this not so liquid um, environment it's easy to um, yeah, get executed with a, a really bad price so um, just to know that there's um, just a limit order available. And here in our order entry window you can um, change the settings um, it's what's pretty similar, uh, simple you just click here where is day or gate GTC uh, good till cancel this is the duration of an order for day it's only valid for the um, actual trading day and GTC is a good till cancel um, for 90 days um, or till the order gets uh, filled. And then there are two, two different options it's fill outside regular trading hours um, what means um, post market and allow pre-open is um, yeah, pre-market the five and a half hours what we discussed earlier. So in the beginning you have to decide which of these options you want to choose. If I want to choose um, um, after the market closed we can do this for example here for Coca-Cola and um, I can place a limit order if the market will go down to forty dollars it's a little bit far maybe but um, you can place the order here you have the notification window and normally here see uh, you can see outside regular trading hours um, it's true so you have also the information here again how to um, place this order outside the regular trading hours as soon as you transmit the order you can see it here as well in the activity window and even here um, you have this um, um, small yellow sign what um, yeah, we will show you uh, that there's um, additional for your um, time that there's um, yeah, pre or post market and um, 
later on you can also change it here. So if you decide not to do it after the market close, um, instead of um, making it maybe then for pre-market, you can even change it here later and update the order. And if you forgot to place it in the beginning for post or pre-market, you can also always change it here. So you have to set it up um, in the beginning or later in the activity window um, for your active orders. That's the first important thing. Um, I will also show you what will happen if you choose the one of these um, order types, what I told you earlier, like stop or market. Um, then all the settings, what you did for pre or post market will be automatically erased. You know, see the sign, the yellow sign, what we had here earlier. It's not showing anymore. Um, some brokers, they make it a little bit easier that you only see all the order types which are available for this trading um, sessions. But here, just keep in mind, it's only the limit order outside regular trading session. As soon as you go to stop and market, there's only the, um, it's only available for regular trading sessions. Trading sessions itself, um, just to remind you again, right click. It's a little bit hidden here, financial instrument info and there you will find the description because if you trade on different markets, it's always good even for futures or micro futures to know what are the regular trading hours and what are um, hours um, outside the regular trading sessions that you um, yeah, always keep in mind when you can enter or exit the market. Especially for earnings, I think it's interesting if you, I think Macy's or like a Facebook or whatever um, was um, announcing in earnings in the next um, days or the last days, if you wanna um, yeah, exit your position because um, after the market, um, Facebook will jump for 10 or 20%, then you can always do this here with a limit order with these settings, what we um, showed you here earlier. And to see also this information in the chart itself, um, there's a very important um, setting how to do so. You go right click in the chart and then chart parameters, what will bring you this overview. And here you have the um, information show data outside of regular trading hours, what gives you the full overview of these total trading hours, what we discussed um, in, this, um, in this presentation. And um, I can show you, for example, this for the chart here for Snapchat. If, you, if I enlarge it a little bit, you can see even here before 9.30, the color of the um, candles are a little bit different. Um, but there's, if the volume is not included, but you can see volume is always outside regular trading hours, much lower than in the meantime or in the, in the main in the main time of the trading session. Another important thing is um, if you place an order here um, that you can always change it and um, what is also um, important, we had this for example this week for Pfizer, um, if you place an order with the GTC it's normally always uh, valid till it gets cancelled or um, if the order got filled. But for Pfizer, we had an example this week, this trading session was uh, halted um, because there was an announcement where the trading for this symbol stopped in, in total. This can always happen. We had this a few years back for Twitter when the earnings uh, got leaked and uh, they were announced on Twitter itself um, half an hour before the earnings date itself. The whole trading session was stopped and all your existing orders normally, it's not, I'm not talking about all um, brokers, but here for Interactive Broker or TradeStation Global, um, as a safety for you, orders will be cancelled because you never know when the um, trading will stop for a certain symbol and then after 10-15 minutes it will, uh, it will continue. There can be a huge gap up or down. Um, this can always happen also in the trading session itself. Normally the big gaps we have during um, the night, but um, this can always also happen here in um, the normal trading session. Another important thing, these outside um, regular trading um, hours information, you can always see this in the intraday chart. In a daily chart, it's not possible because the daily chart will always present you only opening and close course and high and low for the regular trading session. So if you go to chart parameters, 
do this please in some other intervals on a daily, weekly, monthly chart. You will see, not see this information, but um, I think for everyone who wants to place an order in uh, this time, you need to see what's going on and what happens in, in um, the chart itself. And other than this, there are certain tools like Book Trader where you can do the same. Um, and in the end, like I said, always try to check it in the activity uh, window so that you make sure it's exactly placed how you want to have it. And uh, what is not possible to do it pre and post market, you always have to decide here in this drop down um, for which time in the outside trading hours you want to place this. And if you don't want to miss any of our next videos, um, please subscribe to our channel because there are many more topics like this where, you want, where we want to present you some more information, some more detailed information, what, be, what will be very helpful for your trading and um, what not only be for starting um, the trading, also for more professional, we will have uh, very good information in the next days here on YouTube. Thank you very much.